Hello, and welcome to the presentation titled Lymphedema, the Hidden Epidemic. My name is Dr. Heather Hedrick, and I will be guiding you through this presentation. Please note, the presentation is divided into two sections. The first section will address the pathophysiology of lymphedema, as well as a review of the lymphatic system, the phases of lymphedema, and its clinical presentation. The second section will focus on the management of lymphedema according to current best practice. At the end of this presentation, the learner should be able to describe the pathophysiology associated with lymphedema, describe the appropriate interventions to manage lymphedema, and identify how the lymphatic system and lymphedema are involved in acute and chronic wounds. Lymphedema is serious because of its long-term physical and psychosocial consequences. It continues to progress if left untreated. If lymphedema combines with other pathologies, such as cardiac or venous insufficiencies, chronic arthritic conditions, etc., the pathophysiological effects are further exacerbated due to the additional stress placed on the already compromised lymphatic system. Lymphedema is also serious because of the pervasive lack of medical expertise in the diagnosis and management of this condition and the tendency of healthcare providers to trivialize lymphedema in patients who have been treated for cancer. It is important to remember that cancer is not the only precipitating event that can lead to the development of this disease. Unlike swelling and edema, lymphedema is a true disease with underlying pathology. Specific interventions are available to manage lymphedema, yet an accurate diagnosis is essential so the plan of care can be developed accordingly. There are two types of lymphedema, primary and secondary. Primary lymphedema is caused by congenital malformations of the lymphatic system and can be present at birth or develop any time thereafter. Secondary lymphedema is caused by an obstruction of lymphatic pathways typically from exogenous trauma. This form affects roughly 1% of the population. Filariasis is the leading cause of lymphedema in the world in that there are greater than a billion people at risk. Filariasis is a chronic disease caused by the parasitic nematode worm, Wucheria boncrofti. In humans, they may infect the lymphatic vessels and lymphatic organs, the circulatory system, connective tissues, subcutaneous tissues, and serous cavities. Lymphatic filariasis is transmitted when an infected mosquito bites a person. The parasites are deposited through the bite of the mosquito, and the worms live for four to six years lodged in the lymphatic 